Hey, I know I haven't done a video on browse domains in a while, so I wanted to show you some updates we're making and talk about the process of updating a SaaS. Stick around. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. So last time I showed you browse domains, I was going through the dev process and I showed you how we built this SaaS for under 500 bucks. You can check out that past video below. Now today let's make some changes because we have the lists here. And in the last video, I kind of stumbled through the PHP of the lists. But in this video, I wanna go through what new lists we would change and then kind of write these out. You can also see we added some other changes since last time. For instance, if there's no keywords here, now it gives you an error message and the button looks more like a button now, it'll turn blue, so I like that. Plus, we actually fixed the app. Before, it had a hard time actually showing you the domains. Now it loads and it checks the API multiple times to make sure that every domain that it's showing you is actually available, in theory, let's see. Yep, there we go, blazefoundry.com is available. So I had a couple ideas for new lists that I think would make this better, and let's write them out, and then we'll have the coder, we'll have Mayur implement them, and then the tool will get even better. By the way, this is micro SaaS. If you're interested in micro SaaS or anything like that, I highly recommend letting me know down below. Maybe we'll make a course. Do you want a course on how to build and monetize a software as a service business for under a thousand bucks? Let me know down below. Also like this video because the YouTube algorithm loves when you like the videos. So we have a couple lists here. Basically, they're just stolen from Dotometer, which is the original inspiration behind this tool. So here's a couple things I want. I want animals like wolf. I know we had animals here, animals general, where you do have wolf. And then is there another animals category? So there is animals here in the, in the endings, so that's fine. I did want mythical creatures. So like orc, troll, things like that. So let's look up. Top WoW races. Let's just get some WoW. I love World of Warcraft. Robert Indresh loves World of Warcraft. Let's get some, some races here. Yeah, Orc, Troll, Elf, Gnome. So it'd be like leadgnome.com, Elf, Orc. And I'll just put man and human, and then girl and woman, like lead woman, lead girl. And then other stuff that's mythical, like zombie, werewolf. Vampire, lead vampire. The reason why it was glitching in the last video you watched, Browse Domains, when I was putting in the PHP, I was trying to write it manually. It turns out GoDaddy's API has a limit of 500 uh, hits or whatever. Like you can only check 500 at a time, which would be cool, right? Because there's less than 500 things on the list. But what we found out was you have to multiply the two numbers together, which actually gives us a hard limit of 23 or 24 in each list. So the easiest thing to do is just limit the lists to 20 on each side. This animals list is a little bit too long actually. And then we'll stay under the 20 limit. So orc, troll, elf, gnome, dwarf, tauren, man, human, girl, woman, zombie, werewolf. Are we missing anything? Frankenstein. <laughs> wow characters or game gamer characters. Profitable niches like real estate. So I think that would be stuff like, yeah, real estate, leads, medical, like medicalleads.com or medical labura. Whatever. And the reason why this list would exist would be if you're just trying to buy some high value domains, you could use it for this. We put stuff like fitness, weight loss, health, healthy, health, dating, relationship, dog, cat, wealth, money, make money, beauty, makeup. Is this 20? This isn't 20 yet. All right, so profitable niches, and this will be called niches. Oh, and then this was another one like gun, castle, rifle, like strong words, battle words. This would be gun, like sales gun, lead gun. This, this would be for the endings. Gun, rifle, bullet, castle, army. Gun, rifle, bullet, castle, army, sniper, carbine, assassin, I think which is already in one of the other lists. Shotgun, and this may be the word battle. Popular first names, I thought this would be a cool one to do. So if you wanted to do like Alex, email.com or something. This would be John, Michael, William, David, Richard, Joseph, Thomas, Charles, Chris, Jen, Linda, Liz, Barbara. I'm gonna put Alex in here. Jess, Sarah, and Karen, because of the Karen name. Okay. And then single letters, which we can actually just call alphabet, and we'll also do ending alphabet. But this will be things like what I talked about in the previous videos. 
G-H-I-K-K-L-M-N-O-P. We can only do 20 of these. So we'll actually do alphabet one and alphabet two, I think. So that's alphabet one, and then we'll do alphabet two. Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Numbers. And spell them out. And I'll just put the dash in here too, 21. Then master list everything we actually can't have because we have to have a limit. So that's beginning alphabet. And we'll put the alphabet and numbers in the end too. So you can have like leadzero.com or whatever. And Egyptian gods will be stuff like Anubis or whatever, Egyptian gods. Uh, Osiris, Isis, Horus, Seth, Anubis. Ancient, let's call it ancient gods. Because then I also want to put like Thor, was it Greek gods, Zeus, Hera, Roman gods, Jupiter, Mars. So ancient gods will be beginning, lead planet. So I would actually do ending, that's also planets. It'd be like just the word planet, but then it would also be Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, because Pluto is a planet. And then some of those space themed stuff like moon, asteroid, comet. And that's that. Now we can have these new lists and then when you go and browse domains, you'll be able to use these lists as inspiration to find some high quality domains that are available. Did you know DazzleLeads.com is available? I had no idea. You might be able to resell that on GoDaddy for a thousand bucks. Who knows? That's the value of BrowseDomains.com. And please, if you're gonna use this tool, buy through Namecheap because that's the only way we actually get paid on this site. Two hours later. So I put in the new word lists. I'm just gonna upload this to the site. Make sure it's saved. Overwrite the file. If it loads correctly, we get the new BrowseDomain.com. And it'll load and you'll see Lead Orc is available. No way. Lead Orc, $8.99. Who knew? Who wants to buy it? First come, first serve. That's all you. There it is. So we've got all these new ones now in here. First names even like John Email. KarenEmail.com, JenEmail.com. And there we go. And that's that. That's how you improve your SaaS over time. You find holes, you plug those holes, and you just keep on trucking forward until your tool is the best tool on the market. If you're struggling to get clients that pay you what you deserve and you want a quick path from zero to 10K a month in your agency, check out email10k.com. You can see that, we'll link it right down below and you can check that out. Stick around because we have a ton of content that's coming in the future that I'm actually really, really excited about. And we have a ton of videos in the past that I'm sure you haven't seen all of yet. So go ahead and watch those past videos, stay around for our future videos, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, I'm Alex Berman.